Hi, so uh, this video means you just had a shockwave lithotripsy. Congratulations. Uh, so postoperatively, what to expect? Um, you're probably going to feel sore at a minimum for at least, you know, 24 hours in the area that the shockwave happened, which is the kidney. I do prescribe medicine. So I prescribe Motrin as long as there's no contraindication. I prescribe some Percocet, a small amount, just in case there's significant pain. I prescribe a stool softener because everybody who has these procedures gets constipated. So I do highly recommend that you take the stool softener. And I prescribe Flomax. So Flomax is a medicine um, that is given mostly for men um, who are having prostate problems. But in this case, we give it to help the stones pass. It helps with the discomfort associated with this, the little fragments passing uh, by relaxing the ureter tube and allowing those stones to flow through with less resistance. Um, so I do prescribe Flomax. Um, and you may see a little bit of blood in your urine. That's pretty normal. And you may have some pain intermittently too. So you're probably going to have pain for 24 hours. You're also probably going to have maybe some discomfort a couple of days from now when those fragments pass, start passing again. They kind of pass uh, in phases and the pain comes in waves. So that's why it's called colic, renal colic. Um, and that's expected. It shouldn't be terrible. It should be something that the medicines take care of the Motrin and the um, the Percocet. Uh, if it's like out of control, please call. If you start throwing up, please call. I generally don't give anti-nausea medicine, but if that starts happening, please call. We can get you that right away. Um, you shouldn't see significant bruising. Okay, if that starts happening, please call immediately. Um, uh, you know, especially if it's like a big bruise here. Okay. Um, and you shouldn't have clots in the urine. Um, it really, if you have blood in your urine, it's kind of like food coloring. It's just a little bit and it colors it red. You can definitely see red urine, but you shouldn't be forming clots. Uh, and all this should be, you know, maybe for a week, um, usually less uh, for a successful shockwave. After a shockwave, I order an ultrasound four weeks, three to four weeks after and that gives the time for the fragments to do what they're going to do. They're going to go down the tube or not. And then we get an ultrasound to see how we did. Um, and that'll be in three or four weeks. And I usually see you, you know, a few days after the ultrasound to review that with you. Obviously, I can see you sooner if you're having any issues. Um, and that's basically it. Pretty quick. Have a wonderful day.